Uh, today we are going to discuss the topic function related to paper 2. Uh, first of all, we will discuss the basic level questions. So we can see here that this is the first question that f of x is equal to x square minus 7 and g of x is equal to this thing. So find f of 8. Now we have to replace x with 8. So we can write it as f of 8 will be equals to 8 square minus 7. Now keep this thing in your mind that uh, these all questions are related to the paper 2 and they are from the paper 2. So this will be equals to 64 minus 7. So this will be equals to 57. This will be the final answer. Let's see the next one. Find g of minus 2. So as we know that g of x is equal to this thing. So we have to find out g of minus 2. So this will be equals to 4 minus 3 into minus 2 whole is divided by 2. Now if we simplify it further, so this will be 4 plus 6 whole is divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2. So which means 5 will be the final answer. So for the second part, the answer will be 5. Let's see the C part. Find G inverse of X. So if we can see here that this is G of X. So which means that Y is equal to 4 minus 3X whole is divided by 2. So the next step is we have to make X as the subject. So this will be 4 minus 3X. And if we rearrange it further, so this will be 3X is equal to 4 minus 2Y. And then x will be equals to 4 minus 2y whole is divided by 3. So finally, g inverse of x will be equals to 4 minus 2x whole is divided by 3. So this will be the final answer. This will be the final answer and we have to write here 4 minus 2x whole is divided by 3. That's it. Now, the, uh, the part C is solve this plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can see here that f of x is equal to x square minus 7. So let me write it over here that f of x is equal to x square minus 7. Now let's move to the D part. Now this will be equal to, now here we know first of all that f of 2x minus 1 will be equals to uh, 2x minus 1 whole square minus 7. So this will be the this will be the answer for this portion. Now what we have to do? We have to simply put equation 1 in equation A. This one is equation A and just put equation 1 in equation A. So this will be equals to 2x minus 1 whole square minus 7 plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can simplify it. So this will be equal to 2x minus 1 whole square minus 4 is equal to 0. Now there are two ways to simplify it, but we will use the identity that or we can see now there are two ways we can we can use the identity also. And we can write it like this 2x minus 1 whole square is equals to 4. Take square root on both sides. So this will be equals to 2x minus 1 is equals to square root of 4 means whenever you remove the square root, you will have to write the plus 2 and minus 2. So one, once you have to write it like 2x minus 1 is equals to 2, and then 2x plus 1, uh, 2x minus 1 is equals to minus 2. Now if we simplify it, so this will be 2x is equals to 2 plus 1 and here 2x is equals to minus 2 plus 1. So this will be 2x is equals to 3 and here the 2x will be equals to minus 1. So from here x will be equals to 3 by 2 and here x will be equals to 
minus 1 by 2. So this, these two will be the final answers. We have to write both of these answers. Now let's see the other way. The second method to solve this one that you can use the identity that a square plus b square minus 2 a b is equals to 4 because we, we have we can shift it to the other side. So the next step will be next we can uh, this will be equals to 4. Next we can write it as 4x square plus 1 minus 4x is equals to 4. And if we rearrange it, so this will be 4x square minus 4x plus 1 minus 4 is equal to 0. So here 4x square minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now let's see, let's simplify it using the calculator. This will be, now a is 4, then b is minus 4, b is minus 4, and then c is minus 3. So we can see that one answer is 3 by 2 and the other answer is minus 1 by 2. So from for using calculator or by using midterm breaking, we can simplify it. Now we can see that from by using calculator, the answer is uh, 3 by 2 and x is equals to minus 1 by 2. So these two will be the final answer. I hope that the concept is clear. Let's move to the intermediate level questions uh, related to the, this topic functions. So uh, here we can see that this is the first question of intermediate level level that f of x is equal to this and g of x is equal to this. Find g of minus 1. So we can write it as uh, g of minus 1 will be equals to 12 minus 3 into minus 1 whole is divided by 5. So this will be equals to 12 plus 3 divided by 5. So 15 by 5 will be equals to 3. So 3 will be the final answer. Let's move to the part B. Solve f of x is equals to 2. Now here we can see that this is f of x. Let's put equation 1 in equation A. So this will be equals to 2x plus 3 is equals to 2. So 2x is equals to 2 minus 3 and then we can simplify it as x will be equals to minus 1 by 2. So this will be the final answer. Let's move to the part C. Again we have to find the g inverse of x. So we can write it as y is equals to 12 minus 3x whole is divided by 5. Now the next step is we have to make x as the subject so we can write it as 5y is equals to 12 minus 3x and we can further simplify it as uh, this is 12 so we can simplify it as 3x 3x is equals to 12 minus 5y and from here we can write it as x will be equals to 12 minus 5y whole is divided by 3 and then g inverse of x will be equals to 12 minus 5x whole is divided by 3. So this will be the final answer. Now let's move to the next one, next question. Now find the value of x when f of x is 4 more than g of x. Now this is a very, th uh, some of, uh, this is the uh, different question. Now find the value of x when f of x is 4 more than g of x. It, it means that f of x is 4 more than g of x. So it means that f of x equals to g of x plus 4. In the previous part, basic level ka the last part tha, usme yehi tha ke equation was given to us and we have to find out, uh, we have to find out the unknown variable. Now here we can see that f of x is equal to this thing. So first of all, let me write it. Let me write 
let me write the f of x so here f of x is equals to f of x is equals to 2x plus 3 and g of x is equals to 12 minus 3x whole is divided by 5 so just put it in this equation and find the unknown variable so we can write it as 2x plus 1 is equals to 12 minus 3x whole is divided by 5 plus 4 simply rearrange it so 2x plus 1 minus 4 is equals to 12 minus 3x whole is divided by 5 now if we rearrange if we simplify it further so 2x minus 3 now we have to multiply it with 5 simply cross multiply it and then this will be equals to 10x minus 15 is equals to 12 minus 3x and then if we rearrange it so 10x plus 3x is equals to 12 plus 15 and then this will be equals to 13x is equals to 15 15 uh, this is 50, uh, 15 plus so this will be 27 so finally x will be equals to 27 by 13 so this will be the final answer let's move to the next question let's move to the next question this is the next question this is the next question now in the first one 3x minus 5 and g of x is given to us and we have to find f of minus 2 which means that uh, f of minus 2 will be equals to 3 into minus 2 minus 5 so which means minus 6 minus 5 which means minus 11 will be the final answer let's see the part b find the largest integer satisfying f of x greater than 2 so first of all we can write it as this is 3x minus 5 is greater than 3 times of g of x so we can simplify it f of x plus 4 whole is divided by 3 so if we simplify it from here we can cancel out these two so 3x minus 5 is greater than 4x plus uh, 4x plus 4 so if we rearrange it further so minus 5 minus 4 is greater than 4x minus 3x so this will be equals to minus 9 is greater than uh, x or we can say that x is less than minus 9 now we have to find the greatest value so greatest value will be minus 8 greatest inte largest integer so largest integer will be negative 8 this will be the final answer now let's move to the next part c part now here there is a small correction that this will be this will be negative 10 because we know that negative 10 is always less than negative 9 so that is why our or the largest integer will be uh, uh, minus 10 let's move to the C part now f of x is equals to g of 3 times uh, 3x minus 5 so we can write it as 3x minus 5 is equals to g of 3x minus 5 so we can write it as 4 into 3x minus 5 plus 4 whole is divided by 3 because uh, we know that if g of x is equals to 4x plus 4 whole is divided by 5 so g of 3x minus 5 will be equals to 4 of 3x minus 5 plus 4 whole is divided by 5 whole is divided by 3 yes whole is divided by 3 so that is why we can simplify it further so this will be equals to 3 into 3x minus 5 is equals to 12x minus 20 plus 4. So now we can simplify it further. How we can simplify it? 
So we can simplify it as that this will be equals to 9x minus 15 is equals to 12x minus 16. Okay, now we can simplify it further as minus 15 plus 16 is equals to 12x minus 9. So this will be 1 is equals to 3x. Uh, 1 is equals to 3x. So x will be equals to 1 by 3. So this will be the final answer. Let's move to the next one. G inverse of x. First of all, we have to write, we have to find G inverse of x. So G of x is equals to 4x. 4x plus 4 whole is divided by 3. Yes, that is that was g of x. Let's see it again. That it was 4x plus 4 whole is divided by 3. So we can write it as uh, we can write we have to find the inverse of x first of all. So this will be equals to y is equals to 4x plus 4 whole is divided by 3. So which means that 3y minus 4 is equals to 4x so x will be equals to 3y minus 4 whole is divided by 4 so g of x will be equals to g of x will be equals to 3x minus 4 whole is divided by 4 now we know that so this is g inverse of x so we know that g inverse of x is equal to 5 so which means that 5 will be equals to 3x minus 4 whole is divided by 4 now if we rearrange it so this will be equals to this will be equals to uh, 5 into 4 plus 4 is equals to 3x so this will be 24 is equals to 3x because here this will be 20 plus 4 is equals to 3x so if you further rearrange it so x will be equals to 24 by 3 which means x will be equals to 8 this will be the final answer for this part now that is it from the intermediate level questions let's move to the advanced level questions Now this is the first question from the advanced level. Uh, now in the first one, it is given that y is equals to this one, this equation, and we have to complete the table. Now simply put the, use the calculator. So for uh, so we can use the calculator from here. That x cube. Now here we have to use the brackets. Otherwise we will not get the exact and accurate answer. So minus three whole cube so minus 3 whole cube divided by 2 uh, minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 minus 1 so this will be equals to minus 4.5 minus 5.5 so this this value will be equals to minus 5.5 we can directly use the calculator and we can simply put the values in that calculator now the next one is we have to complete this one so the first one is minus 3.5 so this will lie somewhere here at minus 2 the value is positive 1 so at minus 3 the value is positive 1 
it will be positive 1 so it means that it will lie somewhere here at minus 1 it's 1.5 it will be here at 0 it will be minus 1 so it will be here at 1 it will be minus 3.5 so it will be somewhere here then at 2 it will be minus 3 so it will lie somewhere here at this point this will be the final curve so you can use the, you can use uh, uh, you can use the pressure and you can make it more accurate so be very careful in plotting this graph because the next few parts will depend on this one you can see that this is not the accurate one the last proportion is not the accurate one so we have to rearrange it like this so at 2 this will be minus 3.5 so if we rearrange it like this yes now it's better than the previous one let's move to the next part use you use your graph to explain why this has only one solution so now this is the main equation let me write it over here so we can easily use it in the next part that y is equals to x cube by 2 minus 3x minus 1 so we can use it in the next part now here we can see that if we take the LCM so this will be equals to x cube minus 6x minus 2 whole is divided by whole is divided by 2 and if we rearrange it so this will be equals to 2y is equals to x cube minus 6x minus 2 now in this one equation we can see that these two the right hand side is equal so we can replace it with with 6 so 2y is equals to 6 and hence we can say that y is equals to 3 now let's draw a straight line at y is equals to 3 if you, if we ask you to plot it on the graph paper what you can do is you can plot a straight line this will be a straight line at y is equals to 3 now it represents y is equals to 3 so we can clearly see that this is y is equals to 3 and y is equals to 3 cuts the curve at one point so we will say that it has only one solution as we have to show our working so as y is equals to 3 at y is equals to 3 uh, it y is equals to 3 it curves it cuts the curve it cuts the curve at one point at one point which means that it has only one solution let's move to the next part the part d that line l passes through the point this on the grid draw the line so first of all we can see that the first point is one and one so let me use the black color so this point is 1 1 this is the first point and the second point is minus 2 and 1 so minus 2 and minus 1 so it will lie somewhere here so if we join these two points if we draw a straight line if we connect these two and if we draw a straight line this will be the line which which connects these two points so this will be the line which represents the line L let me do this will represent the line L passes through the point okay work out the gradient of the line L so this is a very simple question we have two points we can directly find out the gradient that the gradient will be equals to y2 minus y1 whole is divided by x2 minus x1 so this will be equals to minus 2 divided by minus 3 so if we simplify it further so 2 by 3 will be the gradient let's move to the next part 
point the x coordinate to the point where the line l intersects the curve now we have to find out the x coordinates so here we can see that the x coordinates we can see that the x coordinate will be equal to with uh, l intersects the curve this so we have x cube minus 3x so we have drawn this one so these two equations are same so it will intersect the curve at two points we can clearly see that the one point is minus one not minus one this will be somewhere minus 0 0.9 and the other one is this one. So this will be minus 2.6. So by using curve, we can write it as minus 2.6 approximately. And the other value will be minus 0 0.9. These two will be the values. And if the curve intersects like x is equal to 3, it's 3.5. So it will not intersect at the third point, especially for this case. So we cannot write any uh, we cannot write any third value. So this will be the final answer. Let's move to the last question. So this will be in the in this one we have to complete the table first. So what we can do that we can write it as minus three whole cube minus 3 whole cube yes that is this is cube minus 4x minus 4 x is minus 3 so we can just write it then plus 3 plus 3 so this will be equals to minus 12 so mine this is the first part now let's move to the next part the b part b that we have to draw this one. So at minus 3, the value is minus 12. So it will be somewhere here. Now keep this thing in your mind that this is just a rough estimate. You can take the accurate value and just I'm just trying to give you the idea about it. So at minus 3, it's minus 12. And at minus 2, it's positive 3. At minus 2, it's positive 3. So it positive 3 means it will lie somewhere here at minus 1 this will be positive 6 so it will lie somewhere here at 0 at 0 this will be 3 and at 1 this will be 0 at 0 this will be 3 and at 1 this will be 0 and then at 2 this will be 3 this will lie somewhere here and at 3 this will be positive 18 so positive 18 means this will lie somewhere here so our graph and our curve will be like this Yes, this will be the accurate graph. So that is it for the part B. Now let's move to the next one. By drawing a suitable line on your graph, find the solution of this one. Now first of all, let's see the first portion. That the first portion was y is equals to, first equation was x cubed minus 4x plus 3. Now let's see the this one. That here this is, x cube minus 4x minus 2. It means that we have to make it uh, minus 2. So what we can do for this? So we can write it as x cube minus 4x plus 3 minus 5. So it will make it minus 2. Uh, if we are subtracting minus 5, so we have to add plus 5. So if we further simplify it, this will be y is equals to x cube minus 4x minus 2 plus 5. Uh, or if we will again rearrange it again, so this will be y minus 5 is equals to x cube minus 4x minus 2. Just minus 5 was side by shift. Kiya hai. Now from here we can see that this expression is equals to 0. 
So we can write it as y minus 5 is equal to 0 and y is equal to 5. Now we have to draw a line at y is equal to 5. So this will be the line. Let me draw it over here. That this will be the line. This will be the straight line that y is equal to 5. Now let's see, we have to find, we have to find the solution of it. So we can see that we have to find solution means that we have to find the values of x. So here it means we can see that we have three intersection point. The first one is minus 1.5. Minus 1.5, minus 0 0.3. And the last one will be equals to 2.3. 2.3 because it intersects these at these three points. So that is why we have to mention it over here. This is minus 0 0.3. This one is 2.3. And this one will be minus 1 point. Almost it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have to write it as this will be the final answer. I hope that the concept is clear. Let's move to the next part. Next question that is diagram shows this by drawing a tangent estimate the gradient of the curve at x is equals to 0 0.5. So first of all we can see that this is the point where x is equal to 0 0.5. So first of all we can draw the gradient over here. So if I ask you to draw a gradient, so gradient will be approximately, it will be like this. So this will be the gradient. Okay, this will be the gradient. This will be the gradient. Now, okay. Now we can see here that by drawing an estimate the gradient. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to find the gradient. So we have we can use two any two points at 0 0.5 at x equals to 0 0.5. Y is 3.4. This is the first point, and let's see the other one. This one is the other point that at x is equals to 1.2, y is 0. So, in this way, we always try to use x intercept or y intercept to use points. So, this will be equals to 0 minus 3.5 by 3 minus 0 0.5. This will be equals to 0 minus 3.5 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So, we can simplify it over here. So, this will be 0 minus 3.5 divided by 1.2 minus 0 0.5. So this will be equals to minus 5. This will be the final answer for the first part. Let's move to the next part. Uh, use the graph to estimate the solution of this one. So from here we can see that the original equation was y is equal to this thing. So plus is equals to 2. What we can do is, we know that this whole is equals to y. In the first one, if we compare equation 1 with equation 2, we can clearly see that y will be equals to 2. So what we can do is, we have to draw a vertical line at y is equals to 2. So y is equals to 2. We have to draw a horizontal line. We have to draw a horizontal line at y is equals to 2. So at y is equals to 2. So this will be the line which represents y is equals to 2. y is equals to 2. This will be the line which represents y is equal to 2. Now we can see that it curves, it cuts the curve at 0 0.4, negative 0 0.4.
So we can say that this will be the solution that it will curve the curve at minus 0 0.4. So x will be equals to minus 0 0.4. Let's move to the next one. By drawing a suitable line on the grid, estimate the solution of this one. Now here we can compare that we can write it as 1 by 2x square uh, minus, uh, this will be plus 4x is equals to 7. We are rearranging this equation. So finally, we need here, here we need a plus 3x. So what we can do is we can write it as 1 by 2x square plus 4x minus x. Now, if we are subtracting something, we have to add it also. So, when we add something we subtract it, we will add it also. So, we can write it further as 1 by 2x square plus 3x is equals to minus x plus 4 plus 7. Now, we know that the graph we have plotted is y is equal to this one. This complete ko agar aap dekhen. So this will be equals to y. So it means that y is equals to minus x plus 7. So this line ka humne graph, this line ko humne plot karna hai. So y is equals to minus x plus 7. So iske liye hum koi si do values put kar lete hain. x ki value 0 pe, y will be positive 7. Let me write it over here that we have to draw y is equals to minus x plus 7. इसको हमने प्लॉट करना है कर्व पे हम डायरेक्टली देख लेते हैं कि एट x is equal to 0 एट x is equal to 0 y will be equal to plus 7 then x x is equal to 1 y will be equal to uh, 6 so we can write it as we can draw the graph as x is equal to 0 pe y kya hai 7 hai and x is equals to 1 pe y ka hai 6 se. Where is 1? This one is the 1. So we can say that this is the point. Now we have to draw it like this. We have to draw it like this. Now this will not be the line. This will be the line and we can rearrange, yes, this will be the line. No need to change it further. So this is the line we, we, were, we have to draw. Now the question here is, it, it is a four marks. So the question here is, by drawing a suitable line, estimate the solution. Solution means we have to find the values of x. So let's see the values of x that we can clearly see that this line intersects the curve at first of all at this point this one is minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 then it intersects the curve at this point this one is also 0 0.3 then it cuts the curve at this point this one is 1.8 Sorry, 1.7 and we have we can see that we have only three values where the curve intersects where the line intersects the curve so this will be the final answer that minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 then 0 0.3 and then 1.7 these three will be the final answer now that is it for today. If you have any question, you can ask it in the comment section. Today we have discussed uh, the topic related. We have discussed the past paper questions related or the worksheet related to the functions. Uh, and uh, we have discussed paper two. And we have discussed the basic level, intermediate level and the advanced level questions. I hope that you have got the answer. We have discussed uh, all types of uh, questions or is my koi question chhoda nahi hai and if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section thank you